welcome to SDC 2020. I'm Rochelle Alvers, a SNEA board member and chair of the Scalable Storage Management Technical Work Group. I'm also your orchestration track chair for this year. Today I'm going to walk you through a little bit of an overview of the orchestration track to introduce you to the topic and the presentations and give you an idea of what you might like to, to see and, and maybe a little bit of an ordering recommendation as well. So what is orchestration and how does it relate to automation? Automation, generally speaking, means completing a single task or function without human intervention. So automation makes traditionally time intensive manual processes both more efficient and more reliable by removing human error. Orchestration, on the other hand, is much more about managing an environment using series of tasks or workflows. So orchestrating the scheduling and integration of automated tasks between complex distributed systems and services streamlines and simplifies interconnected workload, repeatable processes and operations. So again, well, automation then refers to a single task or orchestration arranges tasks to optimize a workflow. So with that background, let's jump into our orchestration track. I would strongly recommend you start with an overview of SODA. Now, you may see that phrase popping up in some logos around the event today. That's because one of our gold sponsors is the SODA Foundation. So SOTA Foundation is an open source project within the Linux Foundation. So this first presentation is really going to give you an overview of what SOTA is. That's going to give you a basis for all of the rest of these presentations. All of the rest of these presentations are also about elements of SOTA. Building on that basis of understanding what SOTA is and how it's positioned, what the program is all about, you then have an option of multiple different uh, elements of SOTA to then go look at from this or in this orchestration track. If you're interested in heterogeneous storage monitoring, this next topic talks about the Delphin architecture, specifically looking at capacity monitoring, trending, some different solutions there, and whether or not the Delphin functionality within the SOTA architecture has the capability to help address some of the problems you're looking at. Next, there's a predictive analysis of storage health and performance. So looking at this presentation, this actually talks about a case study around telemetry and anomaly detection in large scale environments. And it really walks through lots of different factors that might come into play here. There's also a presentation that talks about workflow automation in a hybrid cloud environment. So this one talks about, you know, the unified orchestration and automation framework and an open source environment for hybrid cloud workflow automation. So there's also the ability to have custom workflow development and deployment agnostic to those orchestration backends. And there's multiple orchestration backends that the, that the presenters will work you through that can be used with this unified front end. Last but not least, autom autonomous data ma management at the edge. Challenges and possibilities. This section will really talk about the demanding data management requirements, opportunities and challenges for edge cloud computing, and how SOTA can help address that. So I think there's really a nice breadth of, of topics here if for your to you know to pique your interest in both SOTA and some of the opportunities and challenges that the organization is addressing here with the SOTA uh, open source solutions. Moving on to some related presentations, once you've gotten through the orchestration area, we'd recommend you also take a look at potentially some of the topics in the storage management track. One of the things SOTA Foundation is looking at doing is building orchestration engine on top of standards-based infrastructures, including the SNEA Swordfish management standard. To get an overview of that, we have these SNEA Swordfish overview and deep dive, and also just to get an understanding of what's new and what new features and functionality are coming, there's the what's new in SNEA Swordfish track. 
Maximize your SDC 2020 experience. Participate in our online chat for this track and make sure to check out the Birds of a Feather sessions. While there aren't any specific to orchestration, we do have um, a great session on Swordfish called Meet the Experts and Speed Your Media Swordfish Implementation. This is focused specifically on a bunch of new functionality enabling NVMe and NVMe over fabrics. Also, please be sure to reach each session you watch. You'll see a box under the video. And if you need additional details, please see the intro to virtual SDC video. And last but not least, make sure you enjoy the SDC 2020 virtual event. Thanks.